In the heart of the 19th century, amidst the wild and untamed moors of Yorkshire, a literary genius was born. Her name was Charlotte Bronte. Charlotte Bronte was born on April 21, 1816, in the small village of Thornton, England. The third of six children, she grew up in a close-knit family. Her father, Patrick Bronte, was an Irish Anglican clergyman, and her mother, Maria Branwell Bronte, came from a well-to-do Cornish family. Sadly, Charlotte's mother passed away when Charlotte was just five years old, leaving her father to raise the children with the help of their strict and religious aunt, Elizabeth Branwell. The Bronte siblings, Maria, Elizabeth, Charlotte, Branwell, Emily, and Anne were exceptionally close. They found solace in each other's company, creating intricate fantasy worlds to escape the harsh realities of their lives. These early imaginative endeavors would lay the foundation for their later literary achievements. In 1820, the Bronte family moved to the remote village of Hayworth, where Patrick Bronte took up the position of perpetual curate. The isolated and windswept moors surrounding their home would leave a lasting impression on Charlotte and her siblings, inspiring the haunting landscapes of their novels. In 1824, Charlotte and her sisters Maria, Elizabeth, and Emily were sent to the clergy daughters' school at Cowan Bridge, a harsh institution that would later serve as the model for Lowood School in Jane Eyre. The brutal conditions and inadequate nourishment at the school took a severe toll on the girls' health, leading to the untimely deaths of Maria and Elizabeth from tuberculosis. After the tragedy at Cowan Bridge, Charlotte returned home to Hayworth, where she continued her education under the guidance of her father and aunt. It was during this time that she, along with her remaining siblings, began to create the fictional worlds of Angria and Gondal, crafting stories and poems that showcased their burgeoning literary talents. Charlotte's early writings were filled with vivid characters and intricate plots, demonstrating her precocious talent for storytelling. These imaginative works provided a crucial outlet for her creative energies and helped to hone her skills as a writer. In her late teens and early twenties, Charlotte Bronte sought employment as a governess, a common occupation for educated women of modest means. She worked for several families, including the Sidgwicks and the Whites, but found the experience deeply unsatisfying. The isolation and lack of intellectual stimulation left her feeling trapped and unfulfilled. During these years, Charlotte continued to write, pouring her frustrations and dreams into her journals and letters. Her experiences as a governess would later inspire the character of Jane Eyre, whose struggles and triumphs would resonate with readers around the world. Despite her literary success, Charlotte's personal life was marked by tragedy. In 1848 and 1849, she lost her brother Branwell and her sisters Emily and Anne to tuberculosis, leaving her the sole surviving Bronte sibling. These losses deeply affected Charlotte, but she continued to write. Her subsequent novels, Shirley, 1849, and Villette, 1853, reflect her experiences and struggles. Shirley, set during the industrial unrest of the early 19th century, explores themes of class conflict and women's independence, while Villette, inspired by her time in Brussels, delves into the inner life of a lonely and introspective young woman. Though not as commercially successful as Jane Eyre, these novels were critically acclaimed and showcased Charlotte's evolving literary prowess. In 1854, Charlotte Bronte married Arthur Bell Nichols, her father's curate. Their marriage, though brief, brought Charlotte a measure of happiness and stability. However, her health began to decline, and in 1855, she died at the age of 38, possibly from complications of pregnancy or tuberculosis. Charlotte Bronte was laid to rest in the family vault at Hayworth, leaving behind a legacy of literary brilliance that continues to inspire and captivate readers to this day. Charlotte Bronte's novels have stood the test of time, remaining beloved classics of English literature. Her fearless exploration of themes such as individuality, morality, and the human condition has influenced countless writers and scholars. From the numerous adaptations of Jane Eyre for film, television, and stage, to the ongoing scholarly discussions about her life and works, Charlotte Bronte's influence is undeniable. Her writing continues to resonate with readers, 
offering a powerful testament to the enduring power of storytelling. Charlotte Bronte once wrote, I am no bird, and no net ensnares me, I am a free human being with an independent will. Through her words and her legacy, she remains an inspiration to all who seek to forge their own path and find their own voice. Here are 10 amazing facts about William Wordsworth. Tiny Titan of Literature, Charlotte Bronte, despite being short in stature, estimates range from 4 feet 7 inches to 4 feet 11 inches, was a literary giant. Her novels tackled complex themes and challenged social norms, making her a pioneer of feminist literature. A world built with words, the Bronte siblings, Charlotte, Emily, and Anne, were incredibly close and imaginative. They created elaborate fictional worlds together as children, a practice that undoubtedly fueled their later literary pursuits. Pen names and secret lives, Charlotte, along with her sisters, used male pseudonyms, Currer Bell for Charlotte, to navigate the male-dominated literary world of the 19th century. A teacher's tale, Charlotte wasn't just a writer, she also worked as a governess, a demanding and often thankless job. These experiences undoubtedly influenced her portrayal of strong female characters navigating societal constraints. Rejection and Resilience The road to publication wasn't easy. Charlotte's early novels faced rejection, but she persevered, eventually finding success with Jane Eyre in 1847. A passion for Napoleon, of sorts Charlotte had an unusual fascination with Napoleon Bonaparte. She even owned a piece of his coffin a detail that some find intriguing and others a bit strange. Sisterhood and loss, Charlotte's life was marked by the loss of her mother and sisters at a young age. These tragedies undoubtedly shaped her writing, often exploring themes of grief and the enduring power of family bonds. Love and marriage, with a dramatic twist, Charlotte eventually married her father's curate, Arthur Bell Nichols. Sadly, she died just nine months later, likely from complications of pregnancy. A legacy beyond time, Charlotte Bronte's novels, particularly Jane Eyre, continue to be cherished by readers worldwide. Her strong heroines and timeless themes inspire and resonate with audiences across generations. A hauntingly beautiful home, the Bronte Parsonage in Hayworth, England, where Charlotte and her sisters lived and wrote, is now a museum. Visiting this literary landmark allows fans to step back in time and connect with the Bronte legacy. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more literary biographies.